Today I'm going to make a set of router templates, just radius router templates on the Inventables 3D carving machine, Dexcarve. Uh, I start off by using Easel, and by the way, Easel is a free software program that anyone that, if they have a CNC or not, uh, can use for free. So you just create an account. I'll leave a link down in the description uh, for you to use to follow that link and just go create an account. Like I said, it's free. You can start designing projects. Um, I also include a link to a map showing maker spaces in your area. So what's really cool about this is that you can create designs at home and then carve that at any X carve. So at a maker space, a friend's house, whatever. Uh, but go ahead and create a free account because here's what I would love to do. I'd love to take one of you guys designs and just create that here in my shop. So that would be really cool. After the initial design process, which was really simple to execute, I went through the motions of measuring the material, clamping uh, the workpiece down, selecting the correct bit for the job, and oh, also homing the router, which all of this was prompted through the software, so that was really nice. Uh, I'm also using a dust shoe with my shop vac, so I made sure that was connected. Uh, but now that I had everything ready to go, I could click carve and just watch my design become a real thing. As the X carve is doing its thing, I want to thank Inventables for supporting this project and really supporting what I do. In addition to the machine, uh, Inventables has a great community of folks that are engaged in their forums uh, where members can connect and share inspiration through their project library. So um, if you're interested in owning an X-Carve or a, a 3D carving machine, uh, they currently offer a 0% monthly financing option. So if that interests you, I'll leave a link down below. You can click that to learn more. I have my X carve set up to raise the bit and return back to the home position after it finishes the task. Uh, that way I can turn off the router because I have it set to manual on off operation. Now I didn't design this project to cut all the way through the material just leaving the connecting tabs. Instead I wanted to finish it up on the router since that's why I'm making these templates in the first place. But first I need to remove the templates from the workpiece by using my bandsaw to cut the remaining thin layer of material that I left behind. Once I had all the templates cut and ready to be cleaned up, I set up at the router table. Uh, my router lift, which is a J Bates design, is mounted in my outfit assembly table. Now, I made a video, uh, a build video, and a tour video of the table, uh, which is on my website. The table is my design, and I have a bundled plan that includes the outfit assembly table and Jay's router lift on my website. There's a link in the description if you're interested. Uh, but getting back to the project, I changed out the bit to a flush trim bit and decided to use my router fence to take full advantage of the dust collection, which is awesome. Uh, but after adjusting the height of the bit, uh, I cleaned up all the templates and they came out looking great. Using the templates as is along with double-sided tape would have been just fine. Uh, and actually that's how they were designed to be used. But personally, I decided to add a guide on each side of those templates to provide more stability. And the guides are nothing more than a small piece of plywood. I just had some scraps here in the shop, cut them to size and glued and brad nailed them to the sides of each template. And I left about a quarter of an inch overhang on each of those templates. And the overhang, it just allows you to hook the corner of a square piece of stock without using any of the tape or anything. Uh, you'll notice that there's a hole on each of the templates that's there for added security so when you're holding the templates while you're routing it just feels better 
Uh, and then also the tops of the templates are flush with those guys. So you'll, you can actually flip these templates over and lay them flat to be able to trace the radius onto any other surface. So pretty cool little jigs. I'm happy with the way they came out. If you're interested in the easel file for these, be sure to register for a free account. I'll have a link down below so you can do that. Be sure and snag the file while you're there for these templates so you can carve your own. So be sure to check out all the links down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.